Hi guys, I'm going to show you uh, now uh, after uh, installing with the Create Install Media HP Laptop Tools. Now uh, nothing works on my uh, laptop uh, and uh, it's not for long. Uh, so uh, see the next, see the next what happened. <coughs> now you have to put on your desktop HP ProBook, EliteBook, Mac OS, POS install tool, and the gatekeeper tools for the disabled uh, the gatekeeper. <coughs> so you have to start this right now. Enter the password, and that's it done. So now I'm gonna show you this wonderful tool for making your laptop everything's working perfectly like a macbook pro or a macbook air and it's not a joke they eh? show this thing guys sorry my english i'm i'm a french canadian and i do my best to show you exactly uh, how to using these tools <coughs> so we have boot without AML file inside the installer USB install macOS i Sierra and now you're on your desktop fresh install uh, macOS i Sierra so you have boot without this thing you know and this is this is uh, what I need to do so eject the uh, the bootable uh, USB drive and continue. <coughs> you can uh, whoop sorry. And now you have the customize menu. Open it and select your option if you have the 6 series laptop open the 6 series menu it's for uh, the laptop with the intel hd 2000 you know and here the 7 series is uh, for the laptop uh, with the intel hd 4000 so my laptop is a uh, HP ProBook 6570. So I'm select this one, you know. And I'm continue with the next option. So my laptop is a Intel HD 4000 and low screen. My resolution, my resolution screen is uh, 1366 by 768. So HDMI, same thing, low screen for my HDMI. And now you have the fan patch. So after, after testing all this patch, I like this one, the fan smooth. If you have the Ateros, I signed B 185 or something like that. Select this patch. Me, I have the Broadcom here. I have the BCM 94-322-HMS. This is my Wi Fi, so I select this. Here, the SSDT generator is a default uh, setup. Same thing here, Bluetooth, Broadcom 4.0 default setup, HW monitor, carry on. You can read all these options, you know. It's uh, traduce in English and French. And here, this is the app. You have on your application after installing this app. And you have to select your logo for the Mac OS i Sierra. So my logo is this one. So my option is this. 
and I'm ready to install. You, you will see the FE partition you see here. This FE partition is clean because I never installed on that system now. So this is the first time and this is what I need. I need a fresh installation with this tool. If you have the already installed, this is not working because he patch the DSDT and he create your perfect DSDT with the DSDT patcher uh, and create inside the tools, you know? So that's why when you using the create install media HP laptop, you have to boot without the AML file. And I show you in the first video of this. So now take a look. This is Clover UFE 4446 and UFE installation. Here, Clover ACPE patch. You see, DSDT, the perfect one, and DSDT DSL, the, my orange DSDT, and the SSDT. And now you have this on your origin. AML file. It, this does not come from Clover. It's come from the the installer. The installer create and put in on your Clover the origin uh, OCPE file. You know, and uh, the driver 64, the driver 64 UFE, and the kex here. You see. All kex you need, no kex on the system. All kex is in Clover and injected by Clover. I I don't want the the, the touch the macOS system. Just only Clover injection. And here same thing on 10.30 and 10.12. You have you can install macOS Sierra with these tools. The same thing with the macOS iSierra, but macOS iSierra is the latest one, you know. So now the the, the config point place it's perfect for your installation because if you want to change something, you can you can change. You see the Intel HD four thousand here true and you can uh, put a new SMBS this is uh, your choice your choice man okay and now I'm reboot and I'm going to show you uh, better things because uh, after my reboot uh, everything's working everything's you know so I'm reboot now and I show you after. Okay guys, I'm back after the reboot. And I show you uh, about this Mac. <clears throat> This is the MacBook Air and uh, no SMB acid. It's a default uh, config point place inside the pass install tool. And uh, I show you uh, something uh, about the, this Mac. You see here uh, audio. It's a uh, perfect audio. It's uh, Apple RLC. Uh, you know. And uh, here the Bluetooth. The camera. The card reader is not listed, but it's here and it works and uh, ejects or uh, re uh, remount, no problem. <coughs> the network and the display, Intel HD uh, 4000, uh, memory, uh, no PC, USB, I show you USB, everything is there. Is there. Uh, USB 3, USB 2, 
here the, the Broadcom uh, Airport Extreme My Wi-Fi card uh, what's uh, next I show you uh, blah, 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 graphic uh, Bluetooth I think I show you the Bluetooth yes and uh, this is the the system and here you have the, on the display you see the the brightness yeah in its works you have the f8 and f9 key on your laptop uh sorry f9 and f10 you see you you not see the <clears throat> The display change uh, contrast, but but I see me on uh, on my system because on video you you not see this uh, the the display is not changed uh, uh, anyway. Sorry, my English uh, it's not a problem. <clears throat> so the battery is there. You can show the percentage audio. You see and put in on your top bar everything's works so clover it's here 4446 it's a panel clover <clears throat> uh, what's uh, okay bluetooth bluetooth is there and uh, but it's okay for this uh network internet wi-fi and bluetooth <clears throat> so you can find her preference and general you see our drive and external drive and the sidebar you can uh, set up your sidebar this is uh, my video guys i hope you like and uh, i hope a great akintosh for you uh, enjoy with the uh, hp uh, pro book or uh, hp elite book uh, maybe i'm missing something here uh, you see the duck and you can uh, on stretch uh, the dock and the uh, gatekeeper uh, disabling you see where air anywhere allow apps download from anywhere show you on application the um, the 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 apps install it's a uh, command line tools uh, command line fe monitor with the command line this is for mount fe partition it's really easy to using them you can uh, just open and you type a and you have uh, all your partition you just uh, select uh, which one you want to uh, to mount and uh, everything is uh, it's perfect here uh, you have the the drop fe tools you can drop here on your uh, dock and you you can mount your fe partition just drop the volume on the tools and select mount fe type your password and it's work for uh, hfs plus or apfs it's work uh, the same thing so here the hw monitor you see the the hw monitor go on your preference and select your pop-up color me i select uh, the black one and you start hw monitor at login so with the the dsdt patching dsdt you have the fan you see you have the battery you have the ambient the cpu heat sink everything's all information of your system is there so it's really cool app and you have also uh, your registry explorer and uh, mac asial for dsdt uh, patching or editing 
So this is my video, guys. I hope you, you like it and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.